I want to bring back a nightmare. I don't want to upset you. But several months ago, uh, we were all in the middle of uh, an election season. Who is going to be president of the United States? And, uh, yep, sorry, didn't mean to bring it all that negativity back to you. But, boy, you watch these different commercials from the various politicians for the various offices. It, it drives me nuts. You see them saying one thing at one moment. It's on tape. You can hear them say it. And then they say the exact opposite thing later on. There seems to be no consistency. And in our culture, it seems that a lot is increasingly based on more of a lie than the truth. As I age, I become this old fart that complains and says, gee, the world seems to be getting even worse. As compromises, people aren't even pretending that long to do what's right. Let's look at what Proverbs says. Proverbs 6, 12, and 13 says, An evil troublemaker goes around saying twisted things with his mouth. He winks with his eyes, he makes signals with his feet, and he motions with his fingers. Proverbs is warning us about some of the people out there that have based a lot of their life on a lie. They're trying to control us politically. They're trying at times to take your money. How many robocalls do we get where it begins with a lie? We're calling you because we know that you've asked for this. I never asked for it. Now it's very easy to get upset at all these infringements on our dignity when it, it we go, what, what do you think, I'm an idiot? I don't understand that basically you're wanting to have a relationship with me, a business relationship with me, and yet in your email, I looked over your website, studied it for 10 hours, and have some ideas for you, and we're supposed to have a relationship. Lying in our culture, it goes together now, sadly. Now my message to you, as you and I will continue to complain about the next commercial or the next robocall or the next person that's trying to say, hey, I want a relationship with you while it's based on a lie, my message to you is fairly offensive as it is to me because when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. It is not about the other guy. God does not make me responsible for what the other guy says. God may make me responsible or whether or not I'll be a fool and listen to him over what God is telling me or whether I choose to base a relationship on a falsehood and somehow feel it's not going to cost me as I build my life on some a false God versus what is real. But what God's saying is, look, let's take a moment this day and let's look at how truthful you are. That's what you're responsible for. You're responsible not to be an uh, evil tr troublemaker who twists things with your mouth. But when you say something to your child, you back it up with the decisions you make about that child's ultimate, ultimate welfare by how you spend your money. Or when you say something to your wife, I love you, you back that up with the truth of saying no to things that may find being in competition with your ability to love her well. God holds us responsible for who we are, not who the other person is. So let's, in all our self-righteousness that can get regularly aggravated as people lie to us poorly, let's take a moment out to say, God, show me the areas where I need to be more truthful. Show me how I need to apologize and change living in a lie that way so that I can act in a way that's more consistent with who you are. Let us pray. God, it's really easy to look at the other guy, and sometimes when it comes to lying, it's unbelievable the amount of lies we hear from, from other people, and, and yet they expect us to, to believe this junk. 
And yet God, in our own lives, what really hurts us is how we fool ourselves. Some of us lie to ourselves and say we're so no good, we don't expect things from us ourselves, when in reality, you've told us by the psalmist, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. We believe that kind of lie and end up worrying instead of trusting. Uh, other times, we believe the lie that everything has to go our way, and so we get angry over trivial things that disrupt our relationships. Speak to my brothers today in a way that challenges them in hearing your soft voice in an area of them lying that they need to move in truth in. And then God, give them the power to create an accountability relationships with some other guys so they can talk about this, so that you can empower them to become men of truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Now remember, God is quite the conversationalist, so talk and listen to God today.